And we're back to do our predictions for uh, the upcoming UFN event. Um, I'm going to do it uh, with predictions in brief, followed by focusing on a few fights that I'm interested in, uh, and then a, a summary at the end. But first I'm going to announce the uh, winner for uh, UFC 163, um, in terms of my fight of the card. I'm going to give it to Josh Clopton and I shall explain why. Um, Josh Clopton was my underdog pick of the night and it, it didn't really turn out well. Um, underdog generally tends to mean that you're not the favoured person to, to win. Um, so it, from a predictions um, point of view it was a, a risky one to predict. What I liked um, about Josh Clopton was the way he faced it. I remember when he first uh, put on Facebook that he was going to uh, fight Rani Yaha, who is, um, or at least was in WEC, uh, big enough to sort of more or less um, destroy champions. He, he was that sort of uh, level calibre. And, um, you know, I'm sure Josh will get there eventually, but he certainly wasn't the favourite going into this. You know, he didn't get submitted and um, he he's just acted really well all the way through. Um, now, there were plenty of stoppages and there were, you know, plenty of submissions. And, of course, there was the great Josie Aldo who um, I am going to uh, put in um, to the uh, Fighter of the Year competition instead of Pat Healy even though he wasn't on the card because I'm getting rid of Pat Healy um, because of the, the drugs thing. Uh, and therefore I thought, right, I'm going to give it to uh, Josh Clopton. Um, I've always been of the mind that uh, I will um, support the man for the fighter anyway. Um, so, you know, if you look back after all that I've done over the last sort of five or six years in terms of this, I'm being very, very constant, consistent in what I'm doing. Predictions in brief then. Uh, we start off with uh, Rua versus Sonnen. Sonnen is not as poor a fighter as his mouth would make you believe in terms of smack. There is a case to be answered for the fact that his smack is getting him into um, fighting champions even though it's sort of more or less certain that he's going to lose. That has to stop. Um, from Rua's point of view he's got to win this one because if he doesn't he's going to be made look he's going to be made out to look bad because of Sonnen's mouth rather than because of the fact that Sonnen's a decent fighter. I hope and I think that Rua will win this one. But I'm going to go for a decision victory there. Ramsey Najim is fighting James Vick. James Vick has a perfect record of four. Um, he wins generally by submission. Uh, but I think that Ramsey Najim is going to be too much for him and I've gone for a decision victory there. Cody Donovan is fighting Ovin St. Prio. Now, uh, Cody Donovan has a record of 8-2. He's on a four-fight win streak. However, Ovin St. Prio is 13-5, and, um, and he generally tends to beat uh, the calibers that he fights. I'm going for a TKO victory in the second uh, for him there. Um, Conor McGregor is fighting Max Holloway. Uh, McGregor has a record of 13 and 2. Um, his two losses are by submission and 12 of his 13 victories are by TKO. Um, although Max Holloway has never been uh, finished in, in that way, um, he's certainly not um, a submission artist. So um, I think that Conor McGregor will probably win this but I'm going to go for decision. Uh, Brad Pickett is fighting Michael McDonald. Now, this should be, on paper, um, a submission specialist in terms of Brad Pickett 
fighting Michael McDonald being the stand-up fighter. Um, the record's 23 and 7 for the former, 15 and 2 for the latter. Um, the interesting thing is that Brad Pickett certainly was originally um, thought of as a, a stand-up fighter. Um, and I don't know how he's going to play this one. And I think that will, that will make the difference. I think he's got a better chance if he sticks with his submissions. But I'm not sure he will. Um, I'm going to say I think this could be a Michael McDonald split decision. Uh, Uriah Farber is fighting Yuri Alcantara. Uh, they've got almost the same records, 28 and 6 and 28 and 4. Um, Alcantara being the uh, TKO artist and uh, Uriah Farber with his submissions, he's bound to win this if you ask me. I'm going to go for a submission in the third. And Alistair Overeem is fighting Travis Brown. Um, do you know, I think that Alistair Overeem will win this one. And I think he'll also win it on the feet. So there. Um, Manny Gamborian is fighting Cole Miller. And I think this one's quite a, an interesting one. Um, they both tend to win by submission. So this could be a submission fest, which is what we do like. Neither of them have brilliant records recently. Win, loss, 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 win for Manny. Loss, win, loss, loss, win for Miller. Um, I think that Cole Miller is going to win this one. Um, I hope it, this one stands to be fight of the night. I'm going to go for a bar submission in the second there. Diego Brandeo is fighting Daniel Pineda and do you know I ummed and ahed about this for a very long time. 17 and 8 for Diego Brandeo, 18 and 9 for Daniel Pineda. Um, Brandeo mainly a stand-up striker and so it, it goes to, without saying I suppose, that Daniel Pineda is mainly the submission artist. Um, mm, Two win fight streak for Diego, uh, and he does tend to beat reasonable calibers. I was umming and ahhing about this. I think it's going to be a close one. I think close enough to be a decision, no matter what. Uh, but I think I'm going to go for Diego Brandeo on that one. Uh, Mike Brown versus Stephen Siler. This next one, 26 and eight for the former, 22 and 10 for the latter. Um, again, these tend to be uh, two submission artists, so this is another submission fest going on here. Uh, win, loss, win for Steven Siler. Win, loss, loss, win, win for Mike Brown. He at the moment is uh, a decision king, and he has been since WEC, and that could be his problem here. That could be his problem. Um, I don't see either of them uh, fighting, uh, either of them beating each other uh, by submission. So I'm going to go for a Stephen Siler um, decision win. Um, this could be uh, fight of the night. This one, uh, Michael Johnson from Tough, you will remember, is coming off two losses in a row. Doesn't do so good with with submissions, to be honest. Uh, and they put him up against <laughs> Joe Lozon who uh, is 22 and 8 and um, extremely good with submissions. Therefore it's a no-brainer for me this one. I <laughs> think that Joe Lozon will win by submission. I'm going to go for a choke submission in the second and that will be three losses in a row and probably the end of Michael Johnson. Uriah Hall is fighting John Howard and this is a bit of an exhibition match I think to get Uriah Hall back on track. Uriah Hall was the champion of the uh, last tough that didn't quite make it. He fell at the last post. Um, and interestingly enough, he um, was tooted. Horn was tooted all the way through um, uh, tough that he was the excellent knockout artist. Um, he's uh, a black guy who 
bears more in uh, common with uh, Anderson Silva than just uh, people saying he is the next Anderson Silva and the fact that he's black and the fact that he's a striker. Did you know that if you look at his record of 7-3, and three, you will find that Uriah Hall has been knocked out by none other than Chris Feedman, the same person who has just dispatched Anderson Silva. So I don't know if that's a, a commendation for Uriah Hall, or a jinx, really. <laughs> um, John Howard is his opponent, 20 and 8, so much bigger record. However, he um, he's not quite a journeyman, but let's put it this way. He fails with almost all of the calibres he's faced at UFC level, including those he's faced in the UFC before. Um, he was uh, eventually um, cut, and now he's back. And I don't see it lasting very long. He will probably get uh, knocked out by Uriah Hall, and Uriah Hall will probably be back on the, uh, on the up, which is what I think the institution want. And the last match is Matt Brown versus Mike Pyle. Matt Brown is on an incredible five fight win streak, which is quite a big one considering uh, that most of the people on this card have dodgy re recent records. 17 and 11, um, and his wins tend to come by TKO, uh, which is fine because we've gone back to the orthodox uh, stand-up uh, striker versus submission artist. That is Mike Pyle with a much better record of 25 and 8. I think that not only will Mike Pyle win this uh, fight, I actually see him finishing by bar submission in the third.